Hey my bodacious guys and gals, Dave here. In this iconic commercials episode, we take a blast to the past and visit computers from the 1980s. The decade of the 80s was truly the turning point of how families began to move into the digital age as we know it now. Join me as I guide you on a trip to our past of 80s computer commercials. Our first stop is the now defunct video game computer company Atari. You'd usually associate Atari with arcade machines and home gaming consoles, but they also had a very strong position in the home computer market. Today, Atari still lives on and is known as Atari Interactive, a division of Hasbro, who continues to license their classic video games along with making new games for various platforms. Atari brings the computer age home. Okay, Ma, what's the capital of Nebraska? Oh, uh, come on, come on. I'm trying Atari home computers can teach you or reach you with important information anytime, day or night. I always check the computer, the uh, bear's lost. How about the lion? Oh, you owe me on that, too. And if your jump shot is a little off, we can help you there, too. Hey guys, how about a deal? Atari night, or Atari basketball? Mm, no. In fact, there's no end to your possibilities with Atari home computers. They're easy to use and afford. But best of all, they just might be the wisest investment you'll ever make. Hey, Mom! Hmm. What's the capital of Delaware? Dover. Let Atari tell you how the computer business works. Atari buys chips, the competition buys chips. We buy circuitry, they buy circuitry. We buy plastic, they buy plastic. But they have these expensive attachments that add to their price. So you can buy an ST from Atari with more power than the Apple Macintosh SE and more features than the IBM PS2 Model 50 at about one third their price. Available at Microware Magic and Computers. In 1984, Steve Jobs of Apple Computer Inc. introduced the very first Macintosh. As a matter of fact, I create all of my content on a MacBook. The following Apple ads are quite different from the Apple many of you know and love today. But before we get to that, I'd like to briefly talk about my new Patreon subscriber campaign. Please visit patreon.com slash javesarchives to become part of an exclusive group of retro supporters of my content. All patrons will receive members-only news, updates, and gifts, and perks that you can't get anywhere else. Also, please be sure to like, subscribe, and ring that reminder so that you'll always be updated when new retro content comes out. Originally airing from the 1984 Super Bowl 18, you're about to see the very first Apple Macintosh commercial that changed the history of Apple forever, along with a couple other Apple ads. Today we celebrate the first glorious anniversary of the information purification of the creating for the first time in all history a garden of pure ideology where each worker may bloom secure from the pests of a contradictory force. Communication of force is more powerful a weapon than any fleet or army on earth. We are one people. One will, one resolve, one cause. Our enemies shall talk themselves to death, and we will bury them with their own confusion. We shall prevail. On January 24, Apple Computer will introduce Macintosh. And you'll see why 1984 won't be like 1984. Uh, this is uh, Captain again. Uh, we now expect to arrive at uh, Kennedy Airport around uh, 6.40 a.m. I see you've got homework, too. It never ends. You think when you get to this point, things would get easier? Yeah, I know. It looks like that was quite a project. Yeah, it was. Have a look. No trade secrets here. Thanks. Hmm. Impressive. I wish we could do work like this, but we have to crank it out every week. We do ours every week. Well, we can't afford to farm ours out. We have to do them on a computer. We did this on our computer. You did that on a computer. 
Of course. If we farmed him out, I couldn't afford to ride up here. Keeping up with schoolwork isn't easy. That's why the computer more kids learn on is Apple. Ah, oh, Commodore Computers, the affordable family computer that was a definite mainstay throughout the 80s. Specifically, the 1982 Commodore 64 computer, a compact, all-in-one family computer that was most likely hogged up by the kids because of its extensive video game library on floppy disks. It wasn't until the late 80s when IBM PC clones became more commonplace and more affordable that the Commodore computer began to lose its luster and eventually went out of business in 1994. In the competitive world of home computers, the Commodore 64 is absolutely unbeatable. With its enormous 64K memory, its printers, plotter, disk drive, monitor, and its vast range of software, we believe the only thing the Commodore 64 doesn't have is any serious competition. The Commodore 64. Never forget it's the world's biggest selling home computer. Are you keeping up with the Commodore? Cause the Commodore is keeping up with you. In a world of fun and fantasy, and ever-changing views, and computer to see or the higher intelligence of the new Commodore 128. The Commodore 128 is expandable to 512K memory by adding this. To do the same with an Apple, you'd have to buy three more. The 128 has a built-in keypad. You'd have to buy a separate one. Graphics, the new Commodore 128 can paint rings around the Apple IIc. You'd have to add color sprites and 30 block graphic sets to come close. For two joysticks, you'd have to add another port. To match the sound, an Apple would have to add two more voices and four instruments. Plus, the Commodore 128 runs its own advanced programs, along with over 3,000 Commodore 64 programs. To do that with a 2C, you'd have to add a Commodore 64. Commodore 128 Personal Computer, a higher intelligence at a lower price. It was the night before Christmas, and there in the house, the kitten discovered the new Commodore's mouse. Now touch the mouse to do what you choose. The mouse makes the Commodore simpler to use. Educate. Entertain. Put thoughts together. The world's best-selling family computer just got better. So bring home the new Commodore 64 now. A Commodore Christmas to all. And to all a... Uh... Since the 1920s, Radio Shack was a household name for anything from flashlight batteries to ham radios. Tandy, a leather goods company, purchased a Radio Shack in the early 60s and during the early 80s, took a big chomp out of the IBM PC Clone Wars with their Tandy computer lineup. Affordable and reliable PCs that played a major role in the personal computer revolution. Radio Shack and Tandy were eventually sold off several times and today only live on as licensed names through e-commerce retail websites. It's a Radio Shack Merry Christmas. Look how easy the HX is to use. Incredibly easy to use, the Tandy 1000 HX includes seven ready-to-run programs. And it was on sale for only $8.49. It even comes with a color monitor and runs PC-compatible software. Computer! You'll love this surprise. The Tandy 1000 HX and color monitor on sale only $8.49, only at Radio Shack. It's a Radio Shack Merry Christmas. 
Oh, I remember that Christmas. Dad gave me my first shortwave radio from Radio Shack. What memories. This Christmas, we got our son's color computer three from Radio Shack. It hooks right up to our TV and was on sale for less than $130. The color computer three makes learning fun. Jimmy even lets me use it for word processing. When he isn't playing computer games, lucky I still got my shortwave. Save $70 on the sale-priced Color Computer 3, only at Radio Shack. Some people have big plans after school. You know what Elliot's going to do? Jeff, too. Elliot's at work on a book report using Scripsit on Radio Shack's Color Computer 3. It hooks up to his TV. And Jeff's at his Radio Shack Color Computer 3 playing the newest football game. But wait, what's Elliot doing playing new Super Pitfall? And Jeff's having a blast with a new math tutor. You never know what you might try with more than 100 programs for fun and learning. Radio Shack's Color Computer 3 comes with everything you see here. Other items each sold separately, only at Radio Shack. No better value. Right. Look at the new Tandy family of business computers. These 286 and 386 based computers offer the connectivity and compatibility to let existing PCs share data. They run MS-DOS as well as tomorrow's OS2 software. And you can count on a proven track record of quality from a company with 66 years of technological leadership. That does add up to better value. Tandy Computers. Because there is no better value. Only at Radio Shack Computer Centers. If you were to walk into a business office today, there's a good chance that you'll spot an HP computer sitting on someone's desk. Starting out of a garage in the 1930s, Hewlett Packard, today known as HP, was one of the very first computer companies to dominate the PC market during the 80s. Today, HP is practically everywhere and lives on as one of the largest computer and printing companies in the world. You'll probably see a similarity in their commercials when compared to the IBM ads. For years, business computers were designed a lot like cars. To be powerful, you had to be big, and you couldn't go far without a plug chain. But now, there's the portable from Hewlett Packard, a high-performance computer with serious business software like 123 from Lotus and word processing built in, and more memory than the leading desktop. Never has this much power had such easy handling. The portable, setting you free at your Hewlett Packard dealer. This branch office automation project was a monster. I figured a good workout would help me work things out. At Hewlett Packard, the only way we come up with something that isn't what everyone else would do is to keep asking those questions. my head against this networking project. At Hewlett Packard, you just don't throw a bunch of hardware and software at the problem. Suddenly, I guess if you ask enough questions, hey Sandy, you get some pretty good answers. Sandy, what if we integrate? Are you listening? Oh yes, the IBM personal computer. In 1981, the IBM PC changed everything for personal computers during the early 80s and its basic design has stayed the same since. With its open architecture and popularity among enthusiasts and an operating system built by Microsoft, the IBM PC eventually became the industry standard. This led to companies such as Compaq and Dell to creating IBM PC clones and compatibles that carved the path for computers as we know them today. Although no longer making PCs, IBM is considered the father of all personal computers. The IBM ads you're about to see aren't simply selling their products to you, they're selling you stories. Jim's dairy business is twice the size it used to be. Yeah, Jim's twice the size he used to be. He's got stores statewide. Had to get an IBM computer to tie them all together. IBM makes computers that know about the dairy business? IBM makes lots of different computers for any kind of business. And a lot of different software for marketing, building, that kind of stuff. The software helps the computer to help Jim run his dairy business. Jim needs all the help he can get. He needs software for inventory, sales forecasts. It can even tell him how much milk will be produced. Yeah, but is anyone telling the cows? 
One thing's for sure, his IBM computers and software made his job a lot easier. Sure did. Sure did. No big deal making his job easier. So cows that do all the work. Speaking. It's one of the most natural things we do. It's also the basis of a remarkable research project at IBM. This is an experimental computer system that recognizes what I say. I talk and my words appear on the computer screen. It has a business vocabulary of thousands of words and it even knows the difference between words that sound alike but have different meanings. Watch this. Please write to Mrs. Wright right now. This computer system is another example of innovation at IBM. In fact, it's the most advanced voice recognition system of its kind, period. Computers? Who's got time to figure out how to use them? That's how the owners of a clothing store, father and son, felt about personal computers, until they got one. And a catering business, until they got one. We're IBM, and we've seen some very skeptical people become very enthusiastic. And that makes us proud, because we have more computers helping more small businesses than anybody. IBM Personal Computers. Small business is getting big on them. To read is tough. And I learned back when I was six, well, maybe seven. But these kids are already reading in kindergarten. It's because of this really neat learning program called Writing to Read. It's from IBM. Now, it takes words a kid can say, and they can say a lot, and teaches them how to write and read them. Say, turtle. turtle. Type, turtle. The computer helps them. It's fun. Can a fish ride in a wagon? Nah. More than 20,000 kids were part of the pilot program. And some can even write their own Mommy, stories. Dad cooks macaroni. I like it, too. I kissed my cat before I went to school. Gee, I wish they had this when I was a kid. As a group, children in writing to read did significantly better on national reading tests. The two-year pilot program of Writing to Read was supported and funded by IBM. As a leader in business solutions, IBM's developed a new computer you can really hang your hat on. The IBM Application System 400. Whether you're in construction, banking, or mining, education, from manufacturing to medicine, retailing to ranching. The IBM Application System 400 can give you specific solutions for your specific business, no matter what hat you wear. Personally, I've always admired his use of yellow. His merging of abstract shapes and a multi-hued palette is one of the joys of our time. Yes, his subtle shading, his uh, sensitivity to the gray spectrum. A stroke work of a Rembrandt. It's so thrilling to see the new IBM personal system, too, in the hands of an old master. Balderdash. The new IBM personal system, too, advancing the art of business. Of course, we can't forget about all the other competing manufacturers during the 80s. Although not as large as the IBMs or Commodores of the time, the remainder of these computer ads are sure to find some nostalgic remembrance. Oh, and how I dreamt about owning an Amiga computer as a child. When you run a small business, problems can leave you groping in the dark. You couldn't sleep either, huh? Unless you have a reliable guide like the Texas Instruments Professional Computer. It's easy to use keyboard, sharp, clear graphics, and hundreds of software programs will give you fast, reliable solutions today and tomorrow. Mike, I've got it. The Texas Instrument Professional Computer for reliable solutions today and tomorrow. When my dad ran this business, he never came home until after we were in bed. Inventory one night, payroll the next. So I got an Epson personal computer to help me run things. Only Epson has this keyboard with keys in English, not computeries. One button gives me my schedule, draws a graph. In fact, the Epson runs more programs than an IBM PC. 
My Epson does a lot of things, and it does them easily. But what it does best is let me go home. In the field of personal business computers, the climb to the top is tough. Two companies have taken an early lead, but now there's a third, NEC. And now, NEC introduces the Advanced Personal Computer 3 to America. NEC, the world's third largest maker of personal computers, and climbing. They're gonna love you. May I help you? I doubt it. He's looking for a personal computer. <laughs> I must run all the top software. Sure. Easy to use, easy to add on. Of course. Great graphics, a good keyboard. Oh, yes. And a good price. Finished. I'd be very surprised if you had one like that. Ta-da! The NCR PC4. Does all that? Surprise? No. NCR's been in computers for 30 years. I know then. I just thought you'd be surprised. I'll take 12. 12? Surprised? Yeah. Uh... <laughs> a better computer. It's exactly what you'd expect from NCR. personal computer that gives you a creative edge. I see you bought you know who's most powerful personal computers. Yes, I did. The new Compact 286 computers run all the popular business software much faster. Actually, it was a committee decision. And the new Compacts are better for networking. The truth is, I wasn't entirely happy. The powerful new Compact 286s can do a lot more than those computers. Frankly, the decision stank. The new Compact 286s, they simply work better. It was Hotchkiss who pushed it through the fall. <laughs> H-O-T. Well, that wraps up this iconic series episode of Retro Commercials. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content. And until next time, stay retro, my friends. <laughs>